Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2056 of our trek. Establishing good habits is imperative for living a godly life. And one habit that I've practiced nearly every day of the past 45 plus years of my adult life is to read a chapter in the book of Proverbs that corresponds to the day of the month. This single habit has been the catalyst for gaining wisdom and creating a living legacy. Adopting this habit can do the same for your life. The realization that God's wisdom is the only true wisdom drives me to seek out God's wisdom each day. And there's no better way to do this than to meditate on God's book of wisdom. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. So we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. The Book of Proverbs, Chapter 16 We can make our own plans, but the Lord gives the right answer. People may be pure in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their motives. Commit your action to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. The Lord has made everything for His own purposes, even the wicked for the day of disaster. The Lord detests the proud. They will surely be punished. Unfailing love and faithfulness make atonement for sin. By fearing the Lord, people avoid evil. When people's lives please the Lord, even their enemies are at peace with them. Better to have a little with godliness than to be rich and dishonest. We can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. The king speaks with divine wisdom. He must never judge unfairly. The Lord demands accurate scales and balances. He sets the standard for fairness. A king detests wrongdoing, for his rule is built on justice. The king is pleased with the words from righteous lips. He loves those who speak honestly. The anger of the king is a deadly threat. The wise will try to appease it. When the king smiles, there is life. His favor refreshes like a spring rain. How much better to get wisdom than gold, and good judgment than silver? The path of the virtuous leads away from evil. Whoever follows that path is safe. Pride goes before destruction, and haughtiness before a fall. Better to live humbly with the poor than to share plunder with the proud. Those who listen to instruction will prosper. Those who trust in the Lord will be joyful. The wise are known for their understanding, and pleasant words are persuasive. Discretion is a life-giving fountain to those who oppose it, but discipline is wasted on fools. From the wise mind comes wise speech. The words of the wise are persuasive. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy to the body. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. It is good for workers to have an appetite. An empty stomach drives them on. Scoundrels create troubles. Their words are a destructive blaze. A troublemaker plants seeds of strife. Gossip separates the best of friends. Violent people mislead their companions, leading them down a harmful path. With narrowed eyes, people plot evil. With a smirk, they plan their mischief. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained by living a godly life. Better to be patient than powerful. Better to have self-control than to conquer a city. We may throw the dice, but the Lord determines how they fall. And today, as you ponder Proverbs 16, please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.